The three-day session seeks to provide participants with an understanding of the challenges and opportunities associated with transitioning to a climate-resilient, sustainable, low-carbon future with a specific focus on renewable energy. During virtual addresses, local and ILO officials highlighted the importance of the talks. These conversations are necessary to the local, regional and international level. Therefore, over the next three days, I encourage you to delve into the issues, opportunities and challenges associated with just transition. Certainly, the answer does not rest with any one individual, any one sector or entity. Just transition means different things to different people in different spaces. However, in concerning just transition, we must have a holistic approach. Events such as this national symposium embody the essence of collaboration, social partnership, knowledge exchange, and integrative policy development. And I again echo the, the call by Honorable Minister Adrian Ford for us to see if we can make this an annual event. And Labor Minister Colin Jordan has elaborated on the impacts of climate change on the workforce. We've seen it in Dominica not too long ago, where in about 12 hours, over 100% of the nation's GDP was wiped out. That impacts workers because it means that stores are shut. It means that manufacturing plants are shut. Those are the negative impacts. We have to build resilience. We have to adapt. And that has to be our focus. It means then that there's going to be the need for flexibility. Businesses and employers have to be flexible. Workers will have to be flexible because we are transitioning. We are in a transition. From a government perspective, we're going to do all that we can to make sure that the transition is just. Over the next few days, sessions on opportunities for job creation and regional best practices, among other things, will be rolled out. The talks are scheduled to wrap up on April 12th. Rianne Phillips, CBC News.